Welcome back, you spacefaring mercenary group and members. This is Star Fox 64. Following up on the C ending of Sector X. What are you doing? It's too dangerous there. I can't leave Slippy hanging. We have begun Easy Route Mission 5 The Search for Slippy. Mm, uh, oh, we're actually allowed to take the Gray Fox uh, uh, down into into a lower over, a lower orbit, or even lower atmosphere. Well, the... <gasps> we get oh, to use oh, yeah. the land, my master. The land master. I'm beginning to suspect that you're about as unfamiliar with this level as I am, Mister Herdat. Oh yeah, I I have not actually played Star Fox 64. Um, like any of the uh, the only level that I actually remember playing through Star Fox 64 uh, was Corneria, and even then, I'm relatively certain that the, my first uh, several attempts at it, I uh, I ended up dying in. So, uh, and that and that was also, you know, how uh, to do to, to you. We were still friends with Tim and Shelly at the time, so... Huh. Uh... That is a giant bug. Yes, Titania is populated by fauna and monsters, not necessarily Andros's forces. Just as General Pepper was pointing out, you're going to a desert, that's a foolish move in the first place. We're only here because Slippy crash landed here. I suppose that these are Andros's fi fly, uh, fighters and that they are using this as a place to gather their forces and deploy from, but it is a freaking desert after all. It's hostile, There's there, there are no resources here, it's just a place to be and put your stuff. Okay. Mm, nice getting uh, bo uh, nice getting both of those uh, gold rings. Oh, thank you, thank you. Which is why they put them there in quick succession. They're not going to make you choose one or the other. They're going to give you a chance to get both of them. Thank you for revealing the silver ring, Falco. That's what you do. Is Falco will shoot things and make items come out. You should get these items when he makes them appear. Okay. Mm. So in order to actually use hover, you have to hit both. You have to hit both both boosters. Okay. Otherwise, you yes, just, the landmaster. It's a little different to control. Roll. Still a rail shooter. However, thankfully, you don't have to control like where you are positioned on the screen as long as you don't hit any boosts or any of the left or right buttons. You're going to be on the ground. This is this is one of only two Landmaster levels in Star Fox 64, and they both occur at level 5. It is possible to go through the entirety of Star Fox 64 without ever piloting the Landmaster. Hell, you could go through this entire game only using the R-Wing if you take the specific correct path. I highly recommend you give Titania a miss, because not only is the game pointing out, like, you could have saved Slippy if only you took out the fourth boss more quickly. By letting the the fourth boss uh, in Sector X take Slippy down, you're basically saying, I'm not getting the true ending. I'm not going to Venom True Path. I am going to bolst defense defense satellite after this map because, the, because Titania is a one-way route to the easy route in Star Fox 64. Okay. And because of that incentive to give this level a miss so you don't get locked to the easy route, this is my worst and least familiar level. I, I've not noticed any, um, any uh, uh, laser upgrades. Uh, does the Tenia have any laser upgrades for the Landmaster? You cannot upgrade the laser on the Landmaster, and I'm glad you pointed that out. Really? That's right. Huh. Uh, but that if you hard. die, if you die, you, at least you don't lose a laser upgrade. Oh yeah, the Landmaster actually does stand still for a second in order to observe if it's actually Slippy. And it is. Slippy has been captured by some kind of by sand a monster. Avoid the hammers. Yeah, you deal enough damage to it. You can't see its health bar because Slippy is the health bar guy. 
You're not very good at this, are you, Cloud? I'm not going to say that. I, this is a level that, that I don't have all that much experience with. No, I'm not saying it would necessarily be you. I mean, it could be anybody. Let me get a piece of that action clock. Huh. So I never noticed that. The Landmaster will actually, like, stop the tracks and let things happen. Ah, uh, this freaking boss, and I, and I notice that this boss is green and red colored like a lot of the bosses in this game, but this boss is especially forgettable. I think that this boss is a freaking bastard child to defeat. Um, a mo more or less because you're, you're actually on the defensive for, uh, for a large portion of the fight, and because you're on the defensive, you have to deal with the, uh, very slippery analog controls. Uh, that uh, come with uh, uh, this style, that come with this style of uh, aiming reticle. He doesn't have a lot of health. That's one thing that this boss is definitely not very good at, is taking a lot of hits in quick succession. Now you gotta get his stupid head out of the way. No, I'm not alright, Slippy. Yep, he regenerated his arms. We're running low on health. <laughs> uh, Falco, you wanna, you wanna supply us with, you know, with uh, stuff? Or maybe Peppy? I mean, it was... He's homing in with the arms. Nope. And we're dead. Ah, game over number one on what is supposed to be an easy themed level. I think that this level is misleading in, in suggesting that this is an easy difficulty level. This is not an easy level to do in my opinion. Maybe if I was more familiar with it, I remember where the ships fly in, where the obstacles are, how to get all the items without getting hit by the falling pillars. But, again, like, why would I want to practice a thing that I don't want to do? <laughs> mm. Well, one of the big things that I noticed that you're not actually doing all that much is, is utilizing your boost. Because you still have the boost. I mean, the boost will help you get through the timed events. Like, if, for example, the pillar is going to fall on a bomb, which is something that happens very often in this level, is you got to boost in order to get the bomb. As I recall, this also was the last, the very last level, even on my classic N64 days, when I got the medal for getting 150 takedowns in this level. This level is also pretty hard for getting the achievement for having all of your fighters at the end of the level and taking out 150 fighters. You have to be spamming bombs like a ma in order to get that many kills. Well, the, 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 the level does actually give you a bunch of bombs in order to do that, though. See, that's Use how you're bombs supposed to, wisely. That, yeah, that is uh, how you were supposed to do that, Mr. Cloud. You were supposed to wait for it to start uh, start attempt, uh, falling over, and then you boost up, and then you boost under it. Don't hit the slippy arm. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Actually, if you look closely, I'm pretty sure it's his heart. It's it's the creature's hand that takes the hit anyway. Because as soon as as soon as it is as it releases Slippy, Slippy has a full health bar anyway. See, the, that's another thing too is that the game does not necessarily remember how much health Slippy had when the boss of Sector X slapped him away. Right. He's gonna have a full health bar during this boss fight as long as you get him free, and you have to get him free because uh, you have to take out the boss's arms in order to reveal his actual weak spot. Attacking his arms or his head does nothing. So you can't just uh, you can't just barrage his chest. No, his his chest is protected by a rib cage. Mm, uh, what about his shoulder blades? I, I noticed that his shoulder blades actually do take damage. Uh, uh, at least a uh, at least a bit of damage. And con just concentrate your fire. There, uh, you got him. Yeah, he does not take very long to take down. Just be bold, take a few hits even. Hey, you can't lose, you can't necessarily lose score just by taking damage. As long as you live, you, you'll do just fine. <clears throat> but Slippy, you have full health. And also that Titania, if you don't like coming to this level, you get to miss out on a lot of unique dialogues. Really, we're going to Venom after this, huh? No, no, we're not. Not for the Rocket Rabbit commentaries playthrough anyway. Ah. 
Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go back a few levels because we have some medium route levels to explore. Getting like out of soul. this hellhole. Oh, yeah. It's getting hotter and hotter, baby. Be safe, everybody.